Welcome to a new episode of the Data Discovery Channel. And uh, this uh, today my guest is uh, Mika Krooswijk. Welcome, Mika. Thank you. Mika is doing an internship at InfoSupport. And um, Mika, can you explain me why we exchanged the office for this beautiful location <laughs> in somewhere in the middle of ne the Netherlands? So uh, for my project, uh, I'm uh, doing uh, an assignment with uh, a drone. I'm uh, going to fly over uh, agricultural fields to uh, gather uh, data of the plants uh, growing there. And uh, that's uh, to later analyze them uh, to detect uh, weeds grown between uh, the crops. Cool, so you're doing computer vision on the, the images that the drone collects? Yes, exactly. Okay. And, and we're standing next to a DJI drone. Yes. It's, uh, it's one of the more popular drones. It's a consumer drone, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just a simple uh, consumer drone anyone uh, can buy. Nothing special uh, about it, but it's, uh, it's good enough. Uh, we think it's good enough for this, uh, for this task. Because that's, that's what's uh, part of your assignment. Um, uh, do this assignment with a consumer drone. Yep. What was the price budget uh, you had? Uh, it was a maximum of uh, 1,500 uh, uh, euros. 1,500 euros, uh, yep. yeah. And then you end up with uh, consumer drones because there are already solutions with uh, much more expensive drones, yes, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, much more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about um, how you are going to test this? You, it's your first test, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's the first flight we're doing today. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how did you do it? What, what, what do you need? Uh, for the flight? Yeah. Uh, well, so what we're going to test today is uh, is a waypoint mission. That's how we're going to going to control the drone. So that means uh, that the uh, SDK that DJI provides for us is going to control the drone, and we only have to uh, supply coordinates which it's going to fly to. Um, so we're going to do three tests. One is with just one coordinate, and uh, and it's going to fly to it. And we're going to see if that if that works and how uh, how it does it. Uh, then with a couple more coordinates, more waypoints. Uh, and after that, we'll be uh, uh, generating a, a waypoint mission in the uh, application uh, with a, a field we, we provide for it. So we uh, give it four points, and yeah. between those points, it will generate a mission to, uh, to fly. So we, we will do like as if this is a field with mice or something, yes, uh, it exactly. doesn't really care, but, but this will be the test field. Yep, yep. Yeah. and we'll fly over it and take pictures of, uh, of everything in a way that the entire field is captured. Okay, if, if I look at your setup, you have a laptop, you have a remote control. Yep. Um, the remote control is connected to the laptop or? Yeah, it isn't right now, but it's, uh, it's going to be it's, uh, connected to the laptop and then the remote control will be uh, connected to the drone. So everything the SDK on the laptop, uh, how it will control the drone is always via the controller. Yeah, so you, you have a software developer kit from DJI? Yep, from DJI. That's installed on your laptop? Yes. And you wrote the software that you uh, created as part of your assignment um, against that SDK? Yes, exactly. Okay, nice. Yeah. What do you think? Are we going to succeed or are we going to see a crash? I hope we're <laughs> going to succeed. I really think we're going to succeed. to succeed. We always have the controller as a backup to control the, the drone if, uh, if something might go wrong. But that's not expected. Okay, well, we are going to observe you and see what uh, what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Mika, you just did the first test yes. and it, it was successful. Very successful. What did we Indeed. see? Uh, we saw the drone uh, going up to uh, about 10 meters. And after that, it will hold the position for a little bit and take a picture. And after it uh, uh, went up to 12 meters in the same location and then took another picture. And uh, at that point, it stayed at, at its last waypoint. There was no action after that. So that uh, was successful. That's what we expected. I'm uh, happy to see that. Oh, good. And uh, what's the next test? What are you going to do next? Uh, so for the next test, we're going to uh, have three waypoints in different locations. So it's going to fly up to uh, the altitude of the first waypoint and then it's going to go to that waypoint. And after that, it'll do the other waypoints with our, which are at the same altitude and also take pictures. at. Uh, and did you waypoint. program those waypoints? or uh, is Yes, I programmed those waypoints uh, myself. Um, but, the, but they are located here? Or? Yes, they're located here. So the uh, points are based on the location of the uh, drone at this point, and okay. then we yeah, add a little bit to the coordinates to uh, change the location slightly. And wh uh, how many meters are we going to see it uh, fly now? About three meters. Uh, three meters. Flying. Okay, so well, let's see how it yeah, works. Let's see. So the second test succeeded as well. Yep, as well. We saw the, the drone moving. Um, yep. you, you took the first um, uh, coordinate of the uh, of the drone when it was up in yes. the air, yep. and then you calculate the next waypoint, the next waypoint. Yes, exactly. Send that up to the drone. Yep. And, and then, then it starts, starts flying the mission, and that's how it works. Yes, that's yeah. how it works. Yeah, cool. But by the way, if if something goes wrong, so suppose it it would suddenly fly over there into the trees. What can you do at that moment? Uh, so in the application, there's a button, a big red button to stop it in, at any point in the mission. 
Okay. Uh, so that's uh, that's an option. But if that fails, uh, you can always take the controller and, for example, press the uh, uh, return to home button, and it will stop the mission and return to uh, to home, and then you're in full control again of the drone. Okay. So b because safety is of course an important uh, issue yes. when uh, when using drones. Yep. But you thought about that uh, very well, as I hear. Yes. Because okay, well, cool. you could if you. Uh, uh, put the points wrong here in the application. You could make the drone fly very far away, uh, and it will just yeah, it will do it because it, well, it's what it's uh, been told. Yeah. So that's uh, then you can stop it with the controller. Yeah. Okay. Final test. Final test. What are you going to do? Can you can you show it on the screen? Uh, what you are uh, going to do? Yeah. So here on the screen, I've uh, marked four points, and between those points, uh, a total of six waypoints have been uh, calculated to to make up this uh, this field that I've uh, provided for it. Yeah. Um, so now this waypoint mission has been generated and by clicking uh, upload we can upload the mission to the drone and then execute it. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to test right now. And that's the ultimate test because that's what you uh, in the end need. Eh? Specify yeah. a field that you want to inspect. Yes. Have the drone uh, fly that field, take all the pictures, process them uh, in uh, using computer vision. Yes. Okay, well, automatically well. and all. Uh, Exciting. Yeah. Let's uh, give it a go. Let's see. So Mika, we saw a successful test, uh, yes. the last test also, um, well, went okay, well, so you can yep. inspect this, uh, this field. Now, people might think uh, we're on the Data Discovery Channel, what the heck does this have to do <laughs> with data? <laughs> so what we've just seen is only the process of collecting the data, and after this, the drone, uh, you've seen the drone uh, come back, and after it uh, has landed, it will uh, automatically, or the, the application will automatically download all the photos to the device. And after that, it will send it to a service to uh, process them with uh, computer vision. And the results will come back and they'll be visible in the application as well. Cool. So, and, and you are going to use a service, a cloud service uh, for that? Yes, because it's, uh, well, right now uh, for development, we're doing this on the laptop itself. But yeah. for actual use, you'll be in a cloud environment because that's just way faster than the, the laptop. And then, well, in the field, you won't need a very... Uh, capable laptop, just a simple laptop is uh, enough. Yeah. So then we're uh, looking at a uh, Internet of Things device. <laughs> yeah, basically, you, know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you only need one of those devices, a uh, laptop here. Yeah. That's all you need to, uh, to do this. So it's a, it will be like a flying camera collecting data, sending that to a service and that will be analyzed. There's another drone passing by. <laughs> By the way, for those people who think, um, why are they standing so far away and why he's not using the mic to, uh, to interview, but yeah, we're still in the, in the corona lockdown here in, uh, in the Netherlands. You did your interim enti on almost entirely in the, uh, in the lockdown period. Huh? Yes, I think I've been at the office for about a month and after that uh, yeah. corona happened. <laughs> what do you think about this? It's a weird situation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really, uh, really different from anything I've experienced before. But it's, uh, I think, it's going quite uh, well. I haven't uh, really experienced any trouble with, uh, with doing my task in uh, at home. But now you don't get that impression of how nice it is at info support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still get some impression because there are a lot of uh, presentations and other events planned, all remote, of course. Yeah. But I still get some, uh, well, quite a good idea of what info support is and what it stands for. Nice. Okay. Can we um, agree that uh, when you're done and you're really doing the data processing, uh, that we uh, can uh, can uh, that I can interview you again and see the end result? Yes, of course. Yeah. Nice. Keep you to that uh, that promise. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this episode of um, the Flying Drone uh, Discovery Channel. <laughs> no, the Data Discovery Channel. If you like this video. Press the thumbs up icon in the bottom um, uh, or subscribe to the channel, then you always know when there's a new episode. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.